What exactly is allergy? Allergy is a, a, you can say an exaggerated response to an allergen. Now there are certain substances which cause allergy. Dust is the most common allergen. Some people are allergic to food. Some people are allergic to pollen grains. Some people are allergic to some kind of chemicals, maybe like perfume or something. So why some people show symptoms to that substance and some people don't? This is totally on the basis of how your body responds to a particular substance. So what happens when anyone shows allergic symptoms? So that allergen, it can be anything. It can be dust, it can be pollen, it can be food item, it can be any chemical, like cosmetic or any soap or anything. Allergy due to pollen is known as hay fever. So what happens when these allergens, they go into our body? These allergens, they stimulate mast cells to rupture. Mast cells are going to rupture. And there are immunoglobulin E, which are associated with this. And that is why when we write the function of IgE, we say they are responsible for allergic reaction. So they, just, they help or they cause rupturing of mast cell. When mast cell rupture, a substance called histamine is released. This histamine is responsible for inflammation, swelling. Now what exactly is happening here? Suppose there is an allergen, say dust or a bee stings, it injects an acid into our skin. So what happens, suppose this is our skin and here that acid is injected, formic acid for example, injected here. Now there is some kind of a substance which has entered and now our body tries to eliminate this. And here is a blood vessel which is supplying the blood. So this is the capillary which is bringing the blood. When mast cells rupture, serotonin is also released. Here, this serotonin acts as a vasodilator. It causes these blood vessels to dilate like this. If the blood vessels dilate, that means there is more and more blood supply to this area. If there is more blood supply, more of the fluid, lymph, will get filtered out. That means here there is going to be accumulation of fluid. And that is why there is swelling. That is why there is inflammation. And these substances like histamine, when histamine comes here, this histamine attracts WBCs, lymphocytes. So all these lymphocytes, they can squeeze out through the capillaries. That is known as diapediasis. So when the lymphocytes come here, they are going to engulf these particles. And that is how these substances are produced. So this allergic reaction is basically because of histamine. And because this is happening, the surface where there is an allergen, you see some swelling there, you see some redness there. Red because more and more blood is reaching there. And if you touch it, it feels warmer also as compared to the other areas. The allergic reaction can be localized or it can be diffused. Localized like what happens in case of a bee stick. But diffused when there is allergy to some kind of food item maybe. Or some kind of drugs like penicillin. Some people are allergic to penicillin. Now imagine if this swelling takes place in our respiratory tract. So what will happen? This is the respiratory tract and here there is swelling. Because of this swelling, 
the passage, it becomes narrow and they feel heaviness in their breathing. They find it difficult to breathe. If this thing happens in the nasal epithelium, it will result into running nose, sneezing, itching in the throat. And what do we do whenever such kind of allergic reactions take place? We take drugs or medicines which are called antihistaminic. Antihistaminic drugs. Antihistaminic drug will reduce or minimize the effect of histamine so that such kind of swelling doesn't take place. If it is in the local area, only in one part of the skin, that's fine. But when it happens in the respiratory tract, that can prove to be very dangerous. And that is why every time an allergen enters, we show the same reaction. Because against the allergen, our body doesn't keep the antibodies ready. Like if we have taken polio drops, so those antibodies are ready in our body. Whenever a live polio virus enters, our antibodies fight with it. That is not the case with allergy. And that is why every time you inhale dust, you show allergic symptoms. So this is what allergy is. We call it exaggerated response. Everybody, everybody doesn't respond to that allergen. But some uh, individuals, their bodies respond too much to that particular allergen. And that is allergy.